lovely board game here. And I thought that you and I could take a little look. not played this game yet because it's very complex <laughs> there are a lot of rules and I'm in the process of trying to learn how to play We could just enjoy the sounds and the beautiful artwork. I think this is one of the most visually pleasing board games that I've seen. of the game is that you want to score the most points <laughs> and each character does that in different ways so we have the cat this is Marquis the cat So that they can set up their factories. And whatnot. <laughs> and then we have the Eerie Dynasty. And they are the so-called elite faction. And they wish to rule the forest because it is their right, so they think. And then this mouse leads the resistance. And they oppose the war going on between these two and are fighting for the good of the people. And then this last character is the Vagabond. And they do not fight for any war. They have no army. They are just themselves. And their goal is to gain fame or infamy, whichever you choose. By doing deals or favours for these other characters. So, depending on which character you pick, you have a completely different style of gameplay.
by Cole Werrell and the art is by Kyle Ferrin. So it's beautiful and I think that once I understand the game a bit better then it will be a lot of fun. The root coming down and these gorgeous, gorgeous autumn leaves. So big and fluffy. very big. I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing. Um, this is currently the reverse side of it. Um, there's two, two maps. And this is the more advanced one. So, it's actually kind of folded in half. You can see the split in the middle. And this is just sitting upright against my computer monitor. <laughs> and then this is lying flat on the desk. So it's, it's very big. some more close-up visuals. So these are bases. but um, like clearings I guess and there's the pathways that travel between them with forest trees all around a river through the middle Gorgeous. 
and these squares are places that you put various tokens and then the one with the R in it is stands for ruins Then we have our rule books. Yes, rule books. <laughs> rule books. Plural. <laughs> this is the law of root. which is just packed full of all of the specific rules then we have the learning to play guide this one is a bit more relaxed got lots of uh, diagrams is intended to be read through to get more of an overview of the game and then there's this last little one which is specifically to do a guided walkthrough so it tells you exactly how each person should set up their board it tells you which cards you should take so that it can tell you exactly exactly how to play character boards I think they sound so great when I saw this game I thought it looked like a lot of fun but also I thought I, I feel like it's just made for ASMR so many things that just sound so good and it's also just so nice to look at um, so this side gives you some info on the character and shows you what tokens you'll need and then um, how you set up the board and then this side is like your playing board
so it details uh, what you can do in a turn and each turn has three parts bird song daylight and evening and then it's got um, like slots here I guess where you can place your tokens and such for you to use during the game and because each character is different every board looks different different things that you can do a spot for your base tokens and your sympathy tokens as uh, that's how you score points as the alliance um, is by gaining sympathy and gaining supporters for your cause a spot for um, the relationships with the other characters so whether they're indifferent or allies or hostile have a satchel then the eerie dynasty slots for roosts leader card and then you also have a couple of uh, henchmen, I want to say, <laughs> supporters, uh, you know, right hand people, and they go in a couple of the slots up here. playing pieces. We have a couple of die, a couple of dice, and these are for um, doing battle and they uh, signify your hit points. And you roll both and whoever is attacking gets the higher number and over defending gets the lower number. Okay, so then we have the playing pieces, and these are your armies. So the different um, characters, of course. Next is all of the tokens.
different colors uh, for the different characters once again. Green, blue and orange. And then all of these um, white or gray double-sided um, are just items that all the different characters can use. But I think especially the Vagabond, again I'm not too clear on all of the rules. this very much just looks like a Hulk hand. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is called a sympathy token. I don't know why they've used that design choice because all I see is a Hulk hand. There are so many different types. And they're all so beautifully illustrated. I'm not going to go through every single one, but we'll go through them a bit. There's this whole stack as well. These ones are the main shared deck of cards and then these ones are character specific so these ones are walk through cards telling you um, how to set up the board or how to set up uh, your character before you start then we have four each of these character overview cards uh, so that every player can have uh, one set like one of each because it details um, how to interact with each character. Then these ones, these ones are for the Vagabond character. Um, these three are like your perks. So you have to pick one at the start of the game that you will use. We have the thief, the ranger and the tinker. And you get different uh, starting items. And then these are quests that you can do during the game. And then 
these last ones are for the Erie dynasty and these four are your leaders so again you pick one of these at the start gives you different perks charismatic builder commander and dance pot I don't know what that means and then you have just your your loyal vizier your henchman um, and depending on which leader you choose is um, what these can do these represent the woodland creatures not the characters you play as I was confused at first, mm. especially since there's a mouse uh, in both, but... Oh. Just have a little look through. They're just so adorable. visit to friends bake sale ambush there's a few of those I think travel gear better borrow bank Root tea, that's adorable, look at that. Travel gear. I think you can see too um, how much texture is on these cards. They're, um, they feel really nice. Like they don't feel bumpy, they're just very like solid cards. I think there's um, a few double ups. Arms trader. Code breakers. I love the way just a single card sounds to you. Tax collector. More root tea. And an anvil. I just love them so much. I think they're so sweet. And I don't think we appreciated the 
hard work on these ones. Hang on. Because these ones, this picture here, <laughs> is I think my favourite picture in the whole game. I I just love it so much. a little bit of special attention to it. <laughs> yeah. everything back in the box. Character boards. The rule book. Very satisfying. Hope that you enjoyed this little look at this beautiful game. I really appreciate you being here, spending this time with me. I hope you know how much I appreciate you. As always, I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Feel free to leave me a comment. You can tell me anything specific that you liked or if you have any suggestions for me or if you just want to say hi I'm here and I'd love to hear from you if you'd like so good night my friends or good day See you later.